Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, we are going to continue looking at Nextcloud again, and uh, this time we're going to be talking about integration if you are using a GNOME setup on Linux. Now, GNOME actually is the base root of Cinnamon and Budgie. So what we're going to show you today will work on Cinnamon, which is what we're going to use. Uh, Budgie, which is the default on Solace and becoming a very good and respectable desktop. And it will also work on GNOME. So uh, I am going to use Linux Mint again on this one. And uh, the reason is this is actually a Linux Mint machine that I use for a lot of contact testing and things like that, which is why this machine keeps on coming up more and more. So what we're going to do is um, inside of Linux Mint, inside of your settings, which on default is up there on the panel, you will find this online accounts. So this is actually where you can integrate Google, uh, Nextcloud, Facebook, Lord help us, um, Microsoft, etc., a few other types of accounts. Now, depending on your version of GNOME slash Cinnamon slash Budgie, your Nextcloud here might actually say Own Cloud. It doesn't matter. In fact, this is the Own Cloud logo. Uh, sometimes you get Nextcloud with an Own Cloud logo. Sometimes you get Own Cloud with a Nextcloud logo. It's kind of hit and miss. Um, but this is actually the one we want to do. Now, before we actually uh, link that in, uh, what this is going to do is any GNOME-based software, this is going to allow integration. So on your basic GNOME system, one of these is called the Documents. Now, the Documents application will not run on this virtual machine for some reason. Um, and I've actually never even opened this on any machine. But that's one of the things that's going to come into play. Um, I cannot show you what that looks like right here. I tried to actually run this on Fedora, but my uh, beta version of Fedora is not connecting to repositories, so I can't install stuff. Uh, and so I'm not, rather than mess with that, I'm going to use this system. The other one that will work is Contacts. Um, so let me just type these in up here. So Contacts is a... Uh, of course, an application for GNOME. Evolution will manage both contacts and calendars. And also there is the calendar. So if I pull all of these various applications up right now, what we will find is that there are no contacts in the system. We see that there is nothing on the calendar. And if I were to pull up Evolution, now Evolution is, once again, this is a system. Now, of course, the previous video, we showed you how to manually add the, uh, add the contacts in the calendar to Evolution. This step here is going to be uh, very much the same. The only difference is you can't right-click and delete the calendars and contacts from Evolution. On this one, you actually do it through our settings. So this is uh, this is about as easy as it comes as far as integration is concerned. We're just going to go in here and we need to type in our full server. So you want to make sure you have your HTTPS and make sure that your Nextcloud is serving on HTTPS. Okay, so if you remember my uh, sample one is tlml.link. Our username, in this case my username is test user and then we are going to enter our password here. And you'll see that once we have the first character in, then we actually have the uh, ability to hit the connect. Hit the connect, this is going to contact and it gives us this list of things here. So calendar will of course integrate any calendars. Contact will integrate any contacts. This is the standalone applications or inside of evolution. Documents goes into that documents application that I cannot open up to show you, and files allows Nemo to connect. So this is actually the one I had to look this up. I mean, what does documents actually do? Well, it actually interfaces with that documents application, which will allow you to see and sort and move documents around. Um, I'd love to be able to show that to you right now, but it's just not working. So with all of these options, and of course, if you don't want calendar, just you know toggle these guys on or off, whichever one you want. And then don't click the red one, <laughs> just click the little circle up at the top. So now if I come into our contacts, I might actually have to refresh, the, uh, refresh this just by uh, restarting the application. Okay, so we had to restart the contacts application. Uh, for some reason, it wasn't going on there right away. So just had to restart the contacts application. You'll see that now all of the users inside of our Nextcloud account are inside of here. Here's inclu including the test user that we created last time. 
um, our calendar here. So here's with our calendar. You'll remember that these are the test events that we had created on our calendar. So these are all showing up correctly as well on the calendar. And then if we load up evolution, we'll see that here we have our contacts, excuse me, our calendar inside of the evolution. And over here on our contacts, we will have our contact list here. So once again, we can create a new contact right in here. They will automatically appear on Nextcloud. Now, if you want to disable some functionality, maybe you want to take the calendars off, just go ahead and do that. And that should kick that off of your calendars. So you can see that that one is gone and it is off of this calendar as well. So likewise, we can do the same with the contacts. Make sure I turn my calendar back on. So there it is. So now it, it updated the contact or the calendars there. There's my calendars. Now my contacts are gone. I'm a little leery about this one. There we are. <laughs> so contacts are back. All right. So toggle this guy back on. It should automatically update. I do notice that the contacts do take a little bit of time to sync up. So here's our contacts. Should be back over here. Might There they are. So our contacts are synced over here. So that's how you do that function there. Um, so then the next thing we're going to look at, uh, we can't show you the documents. That would be if it's installed under accessories, documents. Um, it never loads up for me. It just sits here and spins. Um, I could probably try reinstalling it. Um, but the last thing is we will look at our Nemo over here. So what we have inside of Nemo is now under network, you will see that you have a uh, folder here with your account test user at your cloud and if we just double uh, double click on this guy here it's going to mount you'll see your mount connection there and then now we can come into here and everything that's inside of your documents you will be able to see and synchronize so this is our next cloud is now synchronized inside of our gnome system involved with any applications just a little postscript. I did poke around a little bit into why the GNOME desktop is, or excuse me, the GNOME documents is not running. And that is because it requires a GNOME tracker system that I'm guessing Linux Mint does not include. So the documents, while is installed, will not open because of that. Uh, so um, we're not going to show you what that one looks like. So um, with that, though, uh, that's not going to be a lot different than uh, going over here and just accessing it with your file directory right over here. So that's just basically a containerized version of doing this. So uh, with that, that is all of what you need to do to integrate your next cloud with any GNOME. So this will work on GNOME, Cinnamon, Budgie, and anything else that is based on GNOME 3. Nice, easy, simple, and effective. So thanks for watching this brief video. You can help support the channel by having a look at the links up above or in the description down below. And I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.